To finish our J is for jellyfish, watercolor resist. We are going to be using watercolor paint today. Wherever we put the crayon on the jellyfish, it will resist the watercolor. So you're gonna actually paint right over the whole thing and the wax from the crayon will make the paint resist away from it, which means go away from it and you won't ruin your jellyfish. It'll actually look really cool. You're gonna have these paint tins today. Um, I want you to just leave them exactly where they are and not move them around the table or they will spill. These are liquid watercolors. And we're gonna be learning about the cool colors today. The three cool colors are green, purple, and blue. But I did give you two shades of blue, light blue and dark blue. But that's still just one color. Green, purple, and blue are the three cool colors. And the reason we're using those is because those are the colors that you would find in the ocean where the jellyfish are. This paint tin is gonna stay between you and your shoulder buddy. When you use the paint today, what I would like you to do is work over a painting paper. You should have a napkin beside you and a brush. Now we wanna make sure that our brushes stay with a good hair day today. So we're not gonna scribble and scratch with them. We're gonna brush, brush, brush and make sure they have a good hair day. It does not matter which color you start with, but when you do it, you're gonna dip and wipe. Paint right over everything, dip and wipe. Dip and wipe. I painted just the corner, about the size of my hand. And I want you to make sure that when you're painting the size of your hand, that you go over it three times. So that was two and now three. Three layers the size of your hand. After you get that done, wipe your brush on your napkin before you switch colors. I'm gonna switch now to green. Dip and wipe and just go right next to it. Three times, one, two, and three. And this is what's cool. Even though I'm painting over my jellyfish, you can still see the crayon because it's resisting it. After you paint the size of your hand, wipe your brush and change colors. I'm gonna move so you can see. Light blue, dip and wipe. Oh, isn't that pretty? Two, three coats. Size of my hand, I did three coats. So now I need to wipe my brush and go to the next color. I'm gonna use dark blue this time. You can paint right over your name. The Sharpie will show through. The crayon will show through. Make sure you wipe your brush when you change colors. Paint right over the jellyfish. When you are done painting and you have the whole paper covered over the jellyfish, around the jellyfish, the whole paper is covered, then what I would like you to do is wipe your brush one more time and lay it on your napkin. While this is still wet, we're gonna do something kind of funny today and we're gonna put some salt on this. What happens is the water from the watercolor will also go away from the salt and it makes a really cool texture. And you can already start to see that it's making a really neat texture on your paper. It almost makes it look like little bubbles, just like you would see under the ocean. I will get your paints, so don't take them off of the table. Let me get them. There is a bowl of water, just like this at your sink. I want you to put your brush upside down so that it can take a bath. And then you're gonna use your napkin that you were working with. The paint will not hurt the table and wipe up any paint that might be on your table. When you're done, throw away your napkin. And that artists is a finished J is for jellyfish watercolor resist. Good job today artists.